Oh gosh, I'm nervous. I don't know why. I like, I was fine just a second ago and now I'm all like anxious about this. Hopefully I'm not too weird. We did also have a new chat command, exclamation mark bonk. You can tell me off if you think it's too much because today is gonna be like a whole, whole other thing. A list of my fictional crushes and why. I don't know how it's gonna go. I think you're gonna, you're gonna judge me a lot. That's okay, we're gonna get through it. You have the bonk. Before we start, before we start the list of my fictional crushes, and I would love if you have some guesses. I will not presume anything, but I will say Zuko is a guess. Pick up from How to Train Your Dragon. It's gonna be a lot, like I really like, I did the presentation and then I went, oh, the chat's gonna like know me now. Like really know me, like, like a little bit too much, but you know what? Why not, right? Like, why not? Ah, oh, what have I done? Will she go beyond the list? Either Prince Eric or Tarzan, the main character of Brave. Oh yeah, Merida. I'm very nervous. I'm, you've got to promise not to judge me too much. You can judge me a little bit. Edward Scissorhands, okay. Are we all ready to start? Oh, I'm very nervous. Okay, let me let me bring it up. Oh. Hello everybody and welcome to the first in this series of what I'm calling Tea Talks in which I do these presentations where the topic is chosen by the subscribers themselves. So please welcome to the very first in the Tea Talk, my fictional crushes presented with little to no context. Oh, it's a full presentation, Sunbury. I'm not, I'm not seeing how good the, the quality is, but it's there. <sighs> So number one, Chester McBadbat from Fairly Odd Parents. Oh, we're starting here. He was one of the first cartoon characters that like sort of made me go, boys. Cake juice, get ready, buckle up. I hope you buckled up. I hope you're ready and prepared for what's gonna happen. <laughs> okay, number two, Starfire from Teen Titans Go. I don't know what it was about the design of Teen Titans Go. They made these people so hot and so gorgeous, but also really nice. We'll talk specifically about Starfire. She was gorgeous. She was so sweet, so like energetic and enthusiastic. And then like the whole, like she gets languages by kissing people, you know? I was like, oh, Starfire. Mm. Okay, next. Vince from Recess. Vince from Recess. Because he was so sweet. A lot of the, like, the sports boys were quite mean. But, like, Vince especially, he was a sports boy, but he was nice. Ooh, scandalous. Beast Boy from Teen Titans Go. Titans Go. <laughs> Thank you for the book. Robin from Teen Titans. Now, there is a there is a theme that's going to come up a couple of times in this in this and I'm I'm calling them a subset where it's the kind of the misunderstood, the quiet, the brooding anti-hero. And, and it it'll it'll come up a bit. I feel like Robin is like one of the the kind of encapsulates it. Okay. Next. Coming up is I'm just gonna take a moment. <laughs> Zuko just did something to me. Thank you. Oh yeah, just the, the bad boy turned good, but the misunderstood bad boy. Chef's kiss. All right, we're gonna, okay, I'm gonna give like two more seconds just to stare at him because he's, yeah. Do we need more time? I think I need another bonk. I'm not gonna lie. No, thank you, thank you for the, thank you for the bonks. <laughs> oh no, I'm going red. We're gonna move on. Goodbye, goodbye Zuko. Hello, Mr. Darcy. <laughs> oh no, here it is, here it is. If you have not seen the Pride and Prejudice, 995 Pride and Prejudice, Mr. Darcy coming out of the lake scene, I mean, bonk. I mean, the, the thing is that this isn't even in the book, but they added it. I love it. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're moving on. We're moving on. Oh my gosh, it's getting too spicy. It's too spicy in here. Now, I don't even, I'm not even going to say anything. I did have a Kingdom Hearts phase. I don't want to say, I don't want to be judged. 
finished. This is the one I'm embarrassed about. I think this is one of the ones that I'm most embarrassed about. Oh no, it gets worse. Please say something. We're moving on. I can't, I can't stay on Riku. Gohan, but specifically Cell Saga. And we, we don't talk about Dragon Ball GT. Danny Phantom. Danny Phantom. Danny Phantom. Yes, Danny Phantom. Okay, next. Sam Manson from Danny Phantom. She was, oh no, whoops. She was so cute. I loved her outfits and stuff. Like there was a part of me that like wanted to be a scene kid, like wanted to be like a goth kid. Kind of like a, I wanted to be her, but also like found her really attractive and really cute. So yeah, it was kind of like the, the, those two together, you know, she was super cute. Now we're getting into the movie territory now. I'm not gonna say anything when I see the next slide. I'm just gonna let you enjoy it. Look at him. Look at him. It came out right at that specific time where it was like, it was scary, but it was also really cool at the same time. Also Rick O'Connell. And also, I mean, can we talk about her? Just her. Rachel Weiss, man. Oh my gosh. Also, she was so intelligent and so smart and just everything about her was just great. Prince Charming from Ella Enchanted. Now, Anyway, these are just photos of cake juice. I mean, yeah, I think maybe this is, I think, I think it's like him and like Colin Firth. It's where my love of curls came from, I think. Penelope, Johnny Martin from Penelope. What a gorgeous, what a gorgeous character. He was just so sweet, so nice. And like, he was like, I realize I've got two of the same photo there, but that's fine. Uh, it is Mr. Tomnus, but I liked him specifically in Penelope. Morticia Adams from the Adams Family. Can we just take a moment to appreciate this gorgeous woman? Like the power that this woman holds, the amazing femininity that she has. Yeah, Morticia Adams. There is a theme, there is a theme that you'll come through here and most of the girls are goth girls. I don't know why. <laughs> One of the most healthy relationships in fiction, her and Gomez. She's beautiful, but I would feel inferior next to her. Yes. Yeah, right, Sleepy? It's a, it's a thing of like um, looking up to you and just going like you're amazing. Flynn Ryder. Oh man, you could just tell the way I said that. Oh no. <laughs> you mean Eugene? Eugene, what a, what a babe. I haven't had any bonks in a while. I'm, I'm impressed. Hey, there she is. There she go. Oh gosh, okay. I can't remember who's next. Rosalina. I'm not gonna say too much about this. I think it's the mysteriousness about her. We don't really know too much about her. I wanted to be Peach and Daisy growing up, but like I wanted to date Rosalina. Dimitri from Anastasia. So my name obviously being Anastasia, this movie came out at a very, a very, very, very good time. Yes, right Star Mystique? <laughs> Thank you for the bulk geek juice. Uh, again, brooding anti-hero misunderstood i mean i mean i mean i mean like like there's nothing i will gladly accept these bonks from you because how could you like look at this man look at this man and and don't tell me that that is the most gorgeous man ever and the bit when they're on the balcony and he's like that's my girl it just, it just, it, it was just like the perfect time of my life that I went, shh, 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 we're moving on, we're moving on, next. Zuki, I mean, like, uh, like, can we, can we talk about Z Zuki? Like, can we, can we talk about Zuki? No, we're not, we're not, we're not, no, right, we're moving on, we're moving on. Anyway, Zuki, gorgeous, uh, talented, like, so sassy with soccer, like an amazing warrior, just, chef's kiss and it's the kind of thing of like I, I don't know whether i want to be like be like suki or date suki you know there's like a there's like a mix sometimes with characters and you're like which one is it the judgments are coming along i can feel it getting a little bit onto like lord of the rings a little bit of movies here this man this man <laughs> you stop yes you bow to no one. What a glorious human. What a gorgeous man. But am I wrong? You're gonna, you're gonna look at me and you're gonna tell me that I'm wrong? No. <laughs> 
<laughs> speaking of Lord of the Rings. Speaking of Lord of the Rings. Chef's kiss. Chef's kiss. <laughs> okay, it gets worse. I'm not gonna lie. It kind of goes downhill from here. I'm not gonna say anything. I'm just gonna let you enjoy it. I'm not gonna say anything. I'm really not gonna say anything. I'm not gonna say anything. really good vibes. The Disney princes and things like that, like I much prefer an Aladdin, Flynn Rider type of hero rather than like say like a Prince Charming or something like that. Like a little bit more sassy, a little bit more funny, uh, a little more humorous, a little bit darker, you know. I am, I am going to do two things. I am going to get rid of my camera. I am going to mute my microphone. I am gonna show this next slide for um, uh, two seconds, and then we're gonna move on and pretend that nothing happened. Are we ready? Are we ready? Like, I'm not even kidding. Like, I, I, want, I want you to say nothing. I want you to have zero judgment. Like, no, I'm not just, like, don't judge me for this one, please. Out of everything else, you can judge me not this one. Oh God, please, 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 no judgment, no judgment. I, I'm gonna show you for like two seconds and then we're gonna move on. Oh God, okay. Three, two, one. Okay, okay, no, 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 no. We're not gonna say anything and we're not gonna talk, no. Anyway, Lee Shang from Mulan. Okay, so <laughs> Lee Shang from Mulan. <laughs> nothing, John. You saw nothing. You saw nothing. Lee Shang from Mulan. I mean, like, I'm gonna make a man out of you. Like, just like, so he. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, <laughs> nothing, John. You saw nothing. We're talking about Lee Shang from Mulan now. Again, that kind of like uh, strong anti-hero, um, like uh, you know, like uh, the 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 his relationship with Mulan was really cool, um, and yeah, just like I made a man out of you, Samurai Jack. Now I didn't watch too much of Samurai Jack. My brothers watched Samurai Jack, but every time I watched it, I was like, cute boy, cute, cute hot man. Do you know what? It was kind of weird. It was like a kind of like hot version of the dad from Powerpuff Girls. I mean, I mean, I mean. <laughs> so sassy, so strong, so powerful. Hercules, he's so cute, so nice, such a sweet kid, and just happens to be a hunk, you know? Yeah, just Hercules. Happens to be a hunk, when did we start talking about cake juice? Ah, oh, Fox! But this is the thing, you know, Cake Juice has not watched a lot of movies and Hercules happens to be one of the films he hasn't seen. So he probably doesn't understand any of these references. Now, I don't, I don't know what to say about this, honestly. Um, I watched Hocus Pocus when I was maybe eight or nine, seven, eight or nine. Yeah, I don't want to say too much about this one. I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna, I am, I'm gonna, now we're all, we're all collectively, we're all collectively gonna let this one sink in and then we're all collectively gonna agree with each other, okay? Please agree with me. Okay, next. Rufio from Hook. Dante Bosco, who, who voiced Zuko. So I think it kind of like, cause I watched Hook first, right? 
I watched Hook and then watched Avatar Legend of Aang. I think a part of my brain was like, ooh, Rufio. Ooh, same voice actor, Zuko. Like, I don't know. I don't know if they, they had a connection or something, but yes. Now, this is where we, we, we're getting into a little bit of like the, the, the mini rom-com section. Now, I didn't put too many from the rom-com section because I didn't think that they were that as like important as like the childhood ones, like the cartoon characters and things like that. But I had to include this movie. I had to include Heath Ledger in this movie because my gosh. Yeah, I have a thing for Kelly here. This is where it gets a little bit on the fictional crushes versus celebrity crushes. Paul Rudd and Clueless. It's gotta be on there. My man, Tuxedo Mask. Now, now, before you say anything, before you say anything, this is at only specific circumstances. Now, this is only in Mario Kart and only when he looks like this. There is no other occasion in which I have a crush on Luigi in these very specific circumstances when he has those little turn animations. It's not a massive thing, it just does a little thing. And I'm like, no, please don't, no, no, no. I knew I shouldn't have done this slide. That is the last one. Those are my fictional crushes pre presented with little to no context. What are your thoughts? Do you agree with me? Do you, is there anything that you agree with? But yes, thank you so much for, for joining along and, and not judging me too much. I appreciate you, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much for the book.